everybody for our boot camp today. You're going to need various sizes of dumbbells. So you're going to want a little bit heavy for some lower body. You will be using them for a straight leg deadlift, and then they will be coming up wrapped onto your shoulders. So you'll be holding those two. So lower body dumbbells, and then you're going to want a light pair of upper body dumbbells, and then your typical pair of upper body dumbbells that you have for all of your upper body muscles. Make sure you have a somewhat of a lighter pair. If you don't, go grab some soup cans. Anything that's going to be a little bit lighter of a weight for you if you don't have any lighter dumbbells. So, matter soft surface, of course, as well, too, if you need that. We're going to go ahead and start getting warmed up. I want you to do some moving inchworm. So, with the space that you have at home, walk out to that inchworm and then let your feet walk to your hands. Still trying to keep them straight and then come all the way up and keep it moving. Once you get to that space that you don't have much more of room in front of you, go ahead and turn around. Try to keep those legs nice and straight, especially on that tippy toe walk back to your hands. Got 15 seconds left, time for about one more. Three, two, one, good. Drive that knee cross body and then gate swing. One more each leg. Good. Feet right at shoulder width. Push those hips back. Eye to T. Palms facing each other and then in front of you. Squeeze those shoulder blades together on the letter T. Keep pushing your butt back. One more time through, I and T. Walk those hands out into a plank. Bring that right foot to the middle of your hands and then pulse that back knee. Just like we're in that runner stance. Good, step back to plank, hold it, and switch. Bring that other foot now in between those hands, drop that back knee, pulse it out. Keep that front foot flat. Good, back to plank. Give me a few mountain climbers, run those knees into the chest. Three, two, one. Walk the hands to the feet. Bring it up. And go ahead and nice little side to side jogs while I go over our moves for circuit number one. Your first move. We're going to do some clock work. So those are just those nice little prep lunge taps. You're going to go to 12, 3. Once you're at 6, hands come down to the ground and jump into plank. Pop back up. Left leg then. 12, 9, Six, back into plank, pop back up. So one side of the body clockwork, down to plank. Bring it back up, do the other side. After that, you're gonna need those light dumbbells because I know you all missed the ropes here. So we gotta mimic like we're doing battle ropes while we're here. So light dumbbells, one in each hand. You're in that quarter squat position, dropping, slightly squatting as you do a front raise and then lower those weights down between the legs. Think of a kettlebell swing. And this is the only time I'm gonna allow you to bring those dumbbells up a little bit high, okay? After that, we're gonna go into some spider push-ups. So we'll go down to the ground. You're gonna alternate sides, but you bring that one foot up to that hand as close as you can, lower to the ground. You will feel that in your inner groin and your hip flexor, and that's perfect. After that push-up, step back on the plank and then switch. Of course, your depth is going to be a little off as a normal push-up that you can get your chest down to the ground. That is also perfect and that's exactly what we want, okay? All right, those are our three moves. We're getting started with that clockwork. 12, three, six, hit the floor, bring it back up, do the other leg. Three, two, one, let's go. Make it nice and quick. You're not in that plank position for very long. 
Enough to get into the position and then pop right back up, jump those feet in. If you need to modify, slowly step out to plank and then step back up. Or maybe it bothers you to have that leg back here, then step in first and then go down to plank. Make it work for you. We're still getting warmed up with these first three moves. Three, two, one. Get those leg dumbbells. Think kettlebell or dumbbell swing. Squat every time, and we go fast. Three, two, one, here we go. Every time those dumbbells are through the legs, we're lowering into that squat. Full body here, shoulders, core is engaged. Legs as we hold that squat position and drop even lower as the dumbbells come down. Don't worry, I got a surprise for you. Three, two, hold that bottom. Single, single, singles. Hold it. Stabilize your body, single, single, single. Ten seconds left, go back to the doubles. Come on, get lower when those weights go through. Three, two, one. Good job. Spider push-ups. Modification is going to be modified push-ups down on your knees. Do not worry about moving your legs to the outside of those hands, okay? Three, two, one. Let's go. Take your time. Get set. Drop your chest. Hold this high plank for a little bit. You'll feel one side of your body getting lower than the other. Exactly what we want. Feel that one arm take all the pressure. So if your right foot is up by your right hand, you're getting down a lot lower in your left side. And that left palm is what's powering you back up. Almost like we're doing a single-sided push-up. Almost done, almost done. Three, two, one. Good job, bring it back up. Back to our clockwork tap, drop to plank. 45 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, let's go. Quick taps. Quick plank, back up. Halfway, stay low on those taps. You're not standing all the way up. We're hunched over, right? We're in that quarter squat. Slightly bending that knee of the leg, we're moving. Prep lunges. Three, two, one. Grab your leg dumbbells or your ropes. Starting with our doubles. You know my secret, it's gonna come again. Doubles, ready? Three, two, one, begin. So we're already holding this low position. And as those weights come through, we squat down with them. We got 20 seconds of singles coming up. Ready, set, hold the low. Single, single, single. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Imagine that rope. Nice little waves as you slam one and the other. Stay low, stay low. Four, three, 
two, one, spider push-ups, three, two, one, let's go. Now that you're getting familiar with these, really focus on dropping the opposite side of the body where that foot's in the front. Drop that shoulder, drop that part of your chest as low as you can get it. And just know the other side's gonna be a little bit elevated. So you're doing off-sided push-ups with a lot more power in one hand than the other. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Bring yourself up and get set again. Last round, 30 seconds. Front clockwork taps to that plank. Ready, set, go. Halfway. Four, three, two, one. Light dumbbells. All right, 30 seconds, 15 seconds each way. Our doubles are our first, and then our singles. Ready? Set, double slams. Three, two, one, stay low, single, single, single. Your arms are straight, arms are straight. Come on, quick, 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 quick little waves. Three, two, one, awesome job. Dumbbells away, spider push-ups. And then we're on to our first break before circuit two. Three, two, one, let's go, finish strong. Should be plenty warm by now. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Great job. Take your time coming up, grab some water, and then I'll come back to show you our moves for circuit two. Circuit number two, this is where you're gonna want those lower body dumbbells. I'll show you that move, but remember you're kind of using it as full body, not just lower body, but I still want you to push yourselves and go heavy. But our first move, just remember the number five. Five jumping jacks, five squat jumps, five each leg, high knees. Just combine three cardio moves into one because I can't. So five, 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 count to 10, and then right back into those jacks. That's move number one. Move number two, we're getting those heavy lower body. You're gonna do a straight leg deadlift, our Romanian deadlift. Here, come all the way up, wrap those dumbbells on your shoulder and squat. And then right back down. So again, pull your shoulders back, sight forward. Weights are super close to my shins. I come all the way up, slight thrust forward with those hips. Little bend as I wrap those dumbbells safely and then full bend for a full front rack squat, okay? That's move number two. And then move number three, we need some dumbbells and shoulders. We're gonna do some moving lateral raises. So that's where we extend our arms out to the lat raise. 
bring them to the front, back to the side, slowly lower down. Your stance for that, play with it as you wish. Whatever's gonna feel the most comfortable, if you're at that shoulder width, side bend in the knees, or if you're in that split stance. But again, it's out, front, out, and then down. Those are our three moves. We're gonna get started with that five, five, five. We're gonna go in 15 seconds. Again, it's five jumping jacks, five squat jumps, five each leg high knees. Modify the squat jumps, which is basic body weight squats. And obviously you've got your modification for your jumping jacks too as well, okay? And high knees, that's just a nice march in place. Here we go, three, two, one, fives. Land softly on those squat jumps. Make sure you are nice and stable before you transition from one move to the next. If you feel jerky, then stop and reset and then start. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, straight leg deadlift to a racked front squat. Three, two, one. Let's go. Slow it down. Strength move. Quick little bend to stabilize those weights. Full squat. Rest those dumbbells on your shoulders. That's what a wrapped position is, okay? Just over halfway. The weight in those heels. Both moves. Straight leg dead and the squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. On to our moving lateral raise. Remember, we're here for a minute. Take your weights wisely. Ready? Set. Go, out, front, out, down. Already well over halfway. Last minute exercise for the circuit, and then we'll drop down to 45 seconds. Don't forget, play around with that stance. What feels more stable to you? That's what you're going to do every single time. Four, three, two, one. Back to our five. Five jumping jacks, five squat jumps, five each leg high knee. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Good job. RDL. 
So racked front squats, slow it down. The next two moves, super slow. Focus on form. Ready, set, go. Keep pulling those shoulders back. Halfway. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Moving lateral raises. Out front, out down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Really keep that bend in those knees, regardless of what stance you're at. Pull your belly button in tight. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, last time through everything. Back to our triple thighs, jack squat jumps, and high knees. Ready, set, go. Final 10. Three, two, one. Are the able to squat? Four, three, two, one. Begin. Final five, three, two, one. Moving lateral raise, coming inside for a break. A very well-deserved one. Ready, set, go. I want those arms at shoulder height, all the way up there. Don't cheat yourself. Final five, three, two, one. Good job, grab some water. Your first move of circuit three. You're gonna do some lateral moving, really quick, short little kicks, just like so. We're gonna move all the way down. Go about eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you're at the bottom, eight pull squat. And then you're back up. Quick little lateral kicks. Back down for eight. So eight kicks, eight pull squats. Next move, you've got some suitcase deadlifts to renegade row. So we've got our dumbbells in our hands. 
We go down low. Once you're in this position, you slightly hinge. Those dumbbells are in the, on the ground. If you need to let go of those dumbbells at that point, we don't like holding on to dumbbells. We want our hands on the ground. You put your hands on the ground or hands are in your dumbbells. Jump out, row, row, come back up, hands in those dumbbells. Notice how I dropped my butt and then I stand up, okay? Really take that one nice and slow and really focus on when you jump back up from that renegade row to drop your butt, power up with the heels, slight thrust forward, and then continue. Your last move of this one then, we're gonna work on some balance. You're gonna want your light weights yet again. You're gonna hold an inverted hamstring position. If you've taken Pio or Pilates or yoga, also known as warrior three, a dumbbell in each hand, we're here, we're gonna pull them up, and we're gonna do triceps kickbacks. If this is too much, you are in a split stance and you're still hinged into a nice flat back. And you are just going to hold a long split stance, okay? Those are our three moves. First one, eight lateral moving kicks, eight pull squats, head back the other way, okay? Four, three, two, one, let's go, quick kicks. Use those kicks to get there really fast. You can still pulse quickly, but it should take you longer to do your pulse squats than it should do your kicks. Pump those arms. Just over halfway. Three, two, one. All right, suitcase, the renegade row. Here we go, three, two, one. Arms come straight down, butt goes straight down, either hands on the dumbbells or hands on the ground. Do your row, drop to your knees for the row if you need to, and then drop that butt down to stand up. And then fix your feet and do it again. You're not going to get very many reps done. That's fine. This is a very complex compound move. It should take a while for each set, each rep, excuse me. Fifteen seconds left. Time for one more. Three, two, one. All right. Onto that inverted kickback. Three, two, one. Here we go. Whatever leg you want to start with, we'll switch halfway. Balance isn't in the cards today. Again, super long split stance in your hinge. We'll kick it back. Three, two, one. Shake out that ankle and then switch sides. Gotta really pull that belly button in tight. Plant a lot of weight in that front heel. So when we send those forearms back, we're not too shifty or wobbly. Three, two, one. Come up, roll those shoulders back. Back to our moving lateral kicks and full squats down to 45 seconds. Ready? Set, go. Half 
plank. Pull those shoulders back on those kicks. We're hinged a lot in this circuit. So every chance you get to reset and stand up tall, you need to do that. Three, two, one. Good job. Suitcase deads to renegade rows. Three, two, one. Begin. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Inverted kickbacks. Ready? Set. Go. Three, two, one. Come up, shake out that ankle. Other side. Make sure you're set. Don't even bring those arms yet or start until you feel comfortable in that inverted position. You need to come up after a few and then drop back into it. That's perfect. Or hold that split stance. Three, two, one. Awesome job. One more time through all three of these. Back to our lateral kicks. To pull squat, eights all around. Ready, set, go. Pull the shoulders back. Slightly back on those kicks. Really elongate your back. Last five, three, two, one. Good job, all right, suitcase to red row. Three, two, one, begin. Four, three, two, one. Last move of circuit. Three, three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out and switch. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, take a break. Come back for circuit four. It's going to be all core. All you're going to want is your mat or your soft surface. We don't need any weights anymore.
all three of our moves for circuit four seem pretty simple, but they really work, okay? Your first one is A-frame abs. We've done this before. Heels into the ground, toes up. Grab the back of your thighs. Lean back into a C-sit position. Clasp the fingers together and you make the frame of the capital letter A. Simple yet effective. We're gonna burn those shoulders even more than we already have today. Next, we've got side lying leg swim. So you hold a modified side plank position. So bottom knee down, but bottom hip is up. We drive that top leg knee into the chest and then we swim. Working on those glutes. Halfway through, we'll flip it over to the other side. Your last move is a plank hold, but I wanna really challenge you to hold a low pillar plank on our forearms. Just like so. If you can, have your palms flat and the bottom of your forearms flat against the ground and no holding hands. We're at shoulder width apart, okay? If you need to, if you need to feel like you need to brace yourself a little more and you're gonna hold it on the side of your forearms with your hands and a fist, that's totally fine too, okay? Just stay nice and low and if you need to, come up into a high plank and then drop to your knees for a modification. If that high plank, you needed a further modification after that, okay? All right, one minute for everything. A-frame abs, four, three, two, one. Lean it back once you're set in that position that you're comfortable with for a minute. All the way up over your head, all the way down. Your hands don't have to touch the ground, but try to get them to the sides of those hips. The only thing moving is your arms. You don't turn your torso to wherever direction your hands are headed. Your goal is to track your core and to stay leaned back and just move those arms. Four, three, two, one, good. All right, sideline leg swims. Let's all have our left knee down, left hand on the ground, moving that right leg. Three, two, one, here we go. Knee in, kick out. Just like if you are swimming on your side in a pool, the only thing we're moving though is that top leg. Pull your belly button in nice and tight. You can feel that left glute working. Inner and outer thigh of the right. Three, two, one. Switch sides, go as soon as you are set. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, low plank hold. Again, if that's too much, I want you to try to push up into a high plank first. And then if you need further modification, drop to your knees, but still hold that high plank. Ready, set, go. No holding hands. You've got germs. Don't touch. Also, we're not doing this. You're not putting your head into the ground and sticking your butt up. Butt down. Again, if you need that break, I want you to try to push up into high plank first. That's gonna be a little bit easier than a low plank, a little bit of a relief. If you still need that break, I want you doing this, okay? 20 seconds left. Time, good job. Flip it over, take a seat. 45 seconds, A-frame abs. Three, two, one. Back to the thighs, lean it back. Here we go again. 
Now that our core is on fire, now is when it gets really tough. Those arms are dead from holding the plank. And now you're moving them. You're leaned back in that C-sit position. You just got done with two moves that you had to contract your core the whole time. Now you're working them even more, but you got 15 seconds left. Don't slowly come up either. Stay low, stay low. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, sideline leg swims, left knee down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Make sure you're bending that knee. Knee in, kick out, knee in. Four seconds left. We'll switch sides and switch sides. Go in your set. Feel those glutes. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, get yourself set for that low plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good job, you're halfway. Fix your feet if you feel like you're sliding. But otherwise, stay strong in that pillar, those shoulders, your core, your glutes, keep them locked, keep them low. Really push up with those forearms. Stay strong in the upper body. Three, two, one. Here we go, last round, 30 seconds. A frame abs. Three, two, one. Lean it back. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Sideline leg swims. Just going to be 15 seconds each side, not even 15, because I give us time to switch sides. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one. Switch. Go in your set. Three, two, one. All right, let's end with that low plank. 30 seconds, easy peasy. Three, two, one. Hold it, let's go. Don't drop your head too low. It's where it's really important to power those palms, those forearms, your elbows. Stay strong. A lot to think about. Pull your belly button in, squeeze your glutes, but keep your butt down. Three, two, one. Awesome job, you guys. Thanks for joining me.